And as part of that manhunt, trains were interrupted between uh, Providence and Boston this morning. Both Amtrak and the MBTA stopped service earlier this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us with an update live in the capital city at the Providence train station. Well, just to show you how fluid the situation's really been here in just in the last couple of minutes, I'd say about 15 minutes ago, I just went inside of the train station here in Providence, and all of the, all of the uh, trains leaving and coming in all said canceled next to them. We just heard Governor Deval Patrick, though, say that that's been lifted, and it's okay for trains to be back in service at this point. I didn't hear him specifically mention the commuter rail, but uh, I think the assumption is that right now all transportation is back to normal. But this was a long day for travelers that were waiting to try to get to their destination. Eyewitness news cameras roll as train after train gets canceled in Providence. At first, it was just trips in and out of Boston, but as the day wore on, the gates were put up. Police presence grew and frustrations ran high. Every train in and out of the station was canceled. And they have like no idea what is going to happen and yeah, trying to figure out how I can go back home. Officers patrolled the area with bomb sniffing dogs and police stood alert inside and out. Rita Micaeus wasn't expecting the train to Philadelphia to cancel. She scrambled to find a last minute flight. They're going to get uh, the terrorists. But the thing is, it's all that, you know, the damage that was done and, and, and there's no control over this. Others understood the cancellations, but hope they'd be lifted soon. This is a once in a lifetime tragedy in this area, and hopefully only a once in a lifetime tragedy. So our travel difficulties are not even on the same scale as our friends in Boston. Ever since that uh, stop and cancellation in service here that happened uh, to the entire train station, it was around 1 o'clock that happened, pretty much everybody left. There's a few stragglers that hung around, but it's pretty empty inside of that building. We'll see that that will probably change now that that travel ban has been lifted and trains are now clear to come in and out of Providence. Reporting live at the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.